Paratosis. That's okay. Uh, anyways, that was my experience in all of StarCraft One with <laughs> yeah. casting. All right, over here in the red, we have. I am MVP. Wow. Now, MVP played pretty well. Uh, I got to hand it to him, but it was a pretty easy win for him too. I think Bonds Bonds was giving it to him. Uh, by the way, speaking of Bonds Bonds, in a female voice, it said. Bonds Bonds Zenith. There's Bonds Bonds Zenith. Yeah, Bonds Bonds, a pretty cool name. Looks like someone loves Protoss out there. Now, these guys are close to each other by air, as you can see. Short distance. But, by ground, with the ramp starting here, that's their only exit. You know, uh, ran out of mouse pad room there. Uh, it's quite, quite long. So sometimes we see Terrans go for drops. We see Protoss go for a Stargate, mm. um, or or Robo. You know, you get observer out real fast. See what they're doing. So that's something to keep in mind. Position it has a huge impact on how the game uh, is played out and what strategies are used. Yeah. Now, I want to talk a little bit about last game and why MVP played like he did. Yeah. Uh, because, really, why you do something is almost as important or more important than what you do. Uh, and he really, it looks like that game he had planned to make a ton of units off one base. I think he realizes, okay, I'm MVP, I'm on Incredible Miracle, I'm one of the best players in the world, I don't want to get knocked out randomly, make more units early, you know, both of us might do some one base type stuff, but I should be safe with this. Right. There should be no way for me to die. So I think that's what was probably going through his head. You know, he's a very confident player, as seeing as, you know, he's a top StarCraft 1 pro that just switched over. Now, we have the cybernetic score on the way. This is all very standard openers from both these guys. If you're new to StarCraft 2, these are openers you could copy, at least for the start, and uh, be confident what you're doing is correct. Note, though, Bonds Bonds, <clears throat> one thing that is weird about this uh, is he scouts so late. Mm. Bonds Bonds is clearly a player who does not um, value intel yeah. as much as building his own economy. And, you know, there are certain times where that is a great move. Yeah. Uh, you know, if he wants to do another just all-in like we just saw, he just wants to attack nonstop, those extra minerals will make a little bit of a difference, make it a little bit quicker. And those little things actually matter quite a bit. So, you know, that's that's one reason he may have done that. And his probe, not going to be able to scout Tasis because of the Marine. Probe denied over here. Marine chasing him out. However, this SCV did breach the Protoss' base. It's a little bit easier to get the SCV in there because the Protoss um, does use melee attacks. However, a ranged unit like a sentry or a stalker cleans that up pretty quickly. Yep. Now, we do have a couple more barracks going up, so... I'm MVP, going to have a lot of units early on. Three barracks play. I'm interested if he's going to do something similar to last game because they are both close by air again. Or if he's going to just try to, you know, walk over and get up the ramp. We do see that from time to time from Terran players. Even though they're yeah. sentries, they're like, you know, maybe you'll misclick. Maybe I'll just wait out your energy. Don't know. No telling, not knowing, Tasis. That's right. <laughs> Uh, so far, we just have two gateways up here. Warp gate's almost done. We may see more gateways get thrown up here in a minute. Triple barracks is pretty uh, aggressive, considering we've seen a lot of these guys actually mm. just expand right away or tech. The CMVP stay low tier. That's quite interesting. Ooh. Now, here's where it gets cool. Bonds yeah. Bonds is expanding. Our Terran player, he's going to scout with this Reaper, presumably, the one that will come out of uh, this barracks right here. Mm -hmm. He's going to scout and see there's only two gateways and know that money had to have been spent somewhere, and that somewhere is here. Then he can hop up the ramp with the Reaper. I mean, I'd rather, he can, <laughs> I already said that. Then he can uh, just grab his Marines and his Marauders, move out, gather up outside of this base to try to break down his opponent. Yeah. You know, there's no real way if MVP hits this timing right that this Nexus is going to stay alive. If he waits till it's finished, that's going to be bad. Bon Bons won't be able to cancel it. And I think he definitely will. That's going to be the perfect timing to actually hit is right as it finishes. That's when the cost of that Nexus is hurting Bon Bons the most. Right. He's going to move out. 
He's actually not going to see out the Reaper. He's going to bring us. Uh oh, look out. He's going to bait these stalkers back over there. The Reaper's taken out, though. Oh my, he sees that. Stim on the way. Concussive shells on the way. Bonbons cannot be happy with this. Bonbons has several zealots, but Marauders quite strong against the zealots. Of course, the Marines, their damage per second are pretty good. It's going to be to the sentries to have good force fields. He may even have to sack this expansion. And here we go. And not Fort. the best force fields there. What he wants to do is trap some of the units so the zealots can actually hit them. Instead, the force fields working against Bonbons, having to walk those zealots around. And yuck. It looks like he is in a lot of trouble here, Tasteless. Looks like I'm yeah, MVP may have brutal. a very quick first round match. Yeah, it was short lived. Uh, MVP's build was better, his micro was better. If you notice, the force fields back there actually hurt um, the Protoss more than the Terran. And that's not supposed to be the case. GG. Well, that was simple. I'm MVP. Uh, that was quick, him. tasteless. Yeah. Oh my. One that of our was, shorter series. That was one of the quickest series I think that we've ever had. Yeah, it feels like it. It felt like it was very straightforward. Yeah. Not a lot of stuff going on. So uh, <laughs> there you go. Um, we're going to have an interview with the winner. I'm MVP. I hope yeah. you guys left some good questions. I hope there were some questions Some of the left. questions have been really great lately. Yeah, they're getting better and In better. The Hydra interview, man, we had a great one. A draft migration. They call draft it spine migration. Push. I would say it. it's actually pretty good for, for what that thing looks like. Yeah, it does <laughs> The spine like crawler push. Um, so, I mean, God, there's really not a lot to say about those games. It's pretty straightforward. Um, I, it is interesting to see. Uh, I am MVP so focused on doing these one base three mm. barracks builds we haven't seen that as much we've seen a lot of banshee rushes a lot of uh forcing and expansion but you know what sometimes s just solid three barracks can be pretty damn good yeah especially if they go fast nexus yeah. which he did do so i'm mvb almost got like a free build order win that second game right first game he definitely outplayed his opponent that game not much that Bonbons Bonds could have done there. Yeah, you know? no kidding. He didn't have any scouting until decided to expand. It's a risk you take with expanding that quickly. Right, so, right. Uh, I'm MVP, picks up the very quick win over Bonbons. Bonds. Does go to the round of 32. Uh, hopefully, we'll see him get a little bit further this time than last yeah. season, where Xenio knocked him out so quickly in an epic series. Should be pretty awesome. Um, again, thanks to our sponsors. and Thanks, guys, for tuning in and joining us. So awesome to be here. This is our last day of casting uh, nine best of threes. So I think yes. tomorrow our cast will probably be a little bit uh, less bumpy. Hmm. Uh, yesterday we had the longest day of work ever. I think I bet you there were points in time where I didn't even know what I was saying. Yeah, yeah. Just went on auto drive. Yeah, sorry like, about that. It's just press a button in my, my uh, stomach. Just like commentate. I'm like blah, 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 blah. Yours is on your stomach. It is. Mine's right up here. Uh, we'll be right back, guys. Enjoy the interview. This is Tasteless Undertosis at the GSL.